Several months ago, I talked about Bay Wheels, which is kind of an unfortunate spinoff to Beyblade that may be one of the worst Beyblade series of all time. The series follows Sho Tenma and his Bay Wheels soaring wing Pegasus, along with his friends to try and stop the evil bad guy group called the Dominators from taking over the world or something. Overall, it was a pretty short-lived 12 episode long series that came out towards the end of 2012, and I don't think it did that well, so I didn't expect it to get a sequel, but it did. Introducing the legendary Bay Warriors Bay Raiders. This follow-up series came out at the beginning of 2014 and follows the same-ish characters, although instead of tires, they are now cars. Hmm. Just remember, the series that this was based off of was spinning tops that battle, and now they're cars. This video is sponsored by Mall of Toys. If you guys are interested in picking up any burst bays, including the new Versus set, which has Valkyrie and Spriggan, or even pre-ordering the upcoming Barricade Lucifer, Mall of Toys is the place to go. So if you guys are interested in getting some Beyblades, links in the description down below. So going back to Bay Warriors Bay Raiders, to talk about the anime, we kinda need to know where Bay Wheels left off. This is a spoiler to the ending of Bay Wheels, so if you wanna watch that show, skip ahead a little bit. At the end of Bay Wheels, the planets align causing a new parallel world to be uncovered kind of transported to the new world kind of science mumbo jumbo but that's pretty much what happens and this is the world of the bay raiders according to the beyblade wiki once defended by six mythic beasts who upheld justice and brought prosperity to all through the battling Bay Raiders tournaments, the world has since fallen into decay because the mythic beasts have disappeared. So it's up to show Tenma and his friends to see what happened to these six mythic beasts and bring the world back to prosperity. I'm counting on you, Everett. Not gonna lie, the animation is pretty slick. Uh, it's pretty detailed, despite it just being cars. I will never hand the power of the six mythic beasts over to you! Ah! What? What? Okay, we get that sometimes Beyblade can be pretty dramatic and like mythical, but I've never seen a Beyblade character just straight up key blast somebody Dragon Ball Z style. My name is Sho Tenma. And there's our main character, Sho. He is back. Sho and Ko do eventually go to the ruins where they meet up with another character. My name is Armes Navy, and this is my partner, Guardian Leviathan. Whoa, we got Guardian Leviathan, it's crazy. Flying Leviathan. The music and the acting is so intense, but they're still just going after a disc. That's the whole point. Go now, Ephraim! Yeah, this show just pretty much reminds me of Fast and the Furious meets Beyblade with the way these cars just maneuver themselves in weird ways or like somehow jump without a ramp. It's pretty crazy, but it, it is it is pretty entertaining. So now let's talk about the battles in the show, which were always the most exciting part of Beyblade. They're, they're pretty weird. The characters that are battling send out these little Bay Raiders cars, and the whole point is to grab a disc and bring the disc back. Of course, to make the battles more exciting in the show because these little cars are able to maneuver around the stadium or if they're battling kind of like a rock formation, they're able to maneuver around, makes it a little bit more exciting. But at the end of the day, they're trying to grab a Frisbee. In real life, the battles are basically the same, but just nowhere near as exciting. I actually bought a couple of these Bay Raiders on eBay, but you need way more to actually battle them. There's a launcher that you rev up, and there's a whole stadium gate set. It's a lot. We're gonna look at an unboxing done by legendary Baytuber Jojo, where she takes a look at all of the different pieces. So after assembling everything, this is what you get. So you pretty much rev up just like this. And then you slam down hard. In its simplest form, you launch the Bay Raiders to knock down power discs and to bring the power discs back to you, and whoever has the most or whoever grabs all of them first wins. Some of the Bay Raiders had slightly different designs, which made them better for power or for accuracy, 
that at the end of the day, they were all pretty much the same thing. I'm not really sure how any Beyblade fans would have enjoyed this because it's just so different from Beyblade and it's so different from Bay Wheels as well. Just like Bay Wheels before it, I don't think this series did that well. I remember seeing Bay Raiders sets just on clearance several years ago. So this definitely did not get a full 26 episode sequel called Bay Warriors Cyborg. It did. But that's a video for a whole nother time. What do you guys think of Bay Warriors, Bay Raiders? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys wanna get some Bay Raiders for yourselves, you can actually find them on eBay for really cheap, in box, brand new condition. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, make sure to check out Mall of Toys, and I will see you in the next one. Have fun, and bay away.